I grew up in Pittsburgh. We had the unique experience of having a disc jockey that picked up the oldies when no other disc jockey even thought of doing such a thing. So I got to hear a lot of the very beginnings of R&B, which of course, most of it came from the gospel. And he was playing stuff I was not able to buy in the store. I would have given anything to be able to buy those records, but they, they were gone. I mean, they had been out and they were gone and uh, they were not played on white stations. Back in the day, music was very segregated and the white stations wouldn't play the music. Everybody thought this disc jockey was black, but he wasn't, but he loved black music. And that was what he played and that was what we all liked. And we left the white stations. So they wised up and realized if they didn't get the music we listened to, they were gonna lose all their listeners. So I think we more than my generation probably changed the feeling of oneness of the country because we didn't care what color that singer was. It didn't matter. If we liked the music, we liked the music. What's this about color? And uh, that, that probably drastically changed everything from there even more than, like I've thought about the sports and the blacks they introduced into sports and those guys took a beating. They were terrible to them. The black artists that got up and sang for us, we were cheering them. We loved it. Uh, very different feeling about things. You know, we just didn't care about that and we didn't know why it was important and it wasn't. You know, anybody that's talented should be able to have their talent recognized.